Let Me Tell You a Story is a product of Carolina Storyteller. Starring Jonathan Phoenix. Written, produced, and directed by Jonathan Phoenix. Edited and recorded by Jonathan Phoenix. And horribly marketed by Jonathan Phoenix. Man, I gotta hire a staff. If you'd like to support the podcast, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Carolina Storyteller. And sub- subscribe to get exclusive content and all kinds of other neat stuff. We even have merchandise coming. Anyway, sit back and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the show, folks. Hope you guys had an amazing week. Hope you guys are ready for another story. I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, I record... Uh, my episodes one to two weeks in advance and I try to have them stacked up so that you know I'm not in a rush to get the story out Um, but after I recorded the gray man which you know I wanted to release right before hurricane season I uh I didn't know what story I was going to use next and it's not that I didn't have stories Uh, you know I I have a whole bunch of paranormal stories Um, I have you know Uh, some great personal stories you know I have I have legends that I still want to there are still things I want to go through it's I couldn't decide which one to do and then this week I got a message from a gentleman who runs a podcast that does movie reviews and he just so happened to want me on his podcast because of my favorite movie My favorite movie being Jurassic Park. And this weekend is the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. And if you don't think Jurassic Park is a great movie, I feel sorry for you and who hurt you. But beyond that, Jurassic Park is, of course, my favorite movie. Why dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. I love the movie. We're not going to dwell on that. But because it's Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary and because... I don't know if I'm going to be on this podcast or not. Uh, We haven't recorded the episode yet. It will either be Thursday or Friday, but if we get it recorded, it'll be airing Sunday afternoon just before this one. So I'll I'll try to post an update on Twitter. You can find me on twitter.com, that John Phoenix 79. Find me there. Um, But it gave me an idea of which story to use. Because if we're going to be talking about dinosaurs, and it's the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, let's talk about the one story from South Carolina that must date all the way back to the prehistoric era where, you know, the dinosaurs all came from. And I'm talking, of course, about the Lizard Man. Yeah, you heard me right. If you don't know, South Carolina has a creature that we call the Lizard Man. It was just a couple of months before my 10th birthday when the news in Charleston began to air the reports and sightings of the Lizard Man from Lee County, which is about two or three hours north of where I was living at. And it was surreal because Lizard Man mania gripped the state like uh, nothing I'd seen in a long time. And everybody was wearing the Lizard Man t-shirts. And we were talking about the Lizard Man. I'd seen the Lizard Man. Oh, the Lizard Man was over here. The Lizard Man was over there. It was a large reptilian looking man with red eyes that was apparently stalking Lee County, South Carolina. And as a kid growing up in the mania, I, I didn't realize this was a brand new cryptid. I didn't realize this was something new until I got much older and looked back on it and went, wow, I, w- I was there when this started. I was there for the birth of the Lizard Man. So, what was it that happened? How did this cryptid all of a sudden appear out of nowhere? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Why did it disappear like Cotton Eye Joe? Because understand, after about a year and a half, news of the Lizard Man just kind of faded away. Until it was mentioned again in 2008 when CNN was talking about Bishopville, South Carolina, which is in Lee County, and just decided to mention it. Don't ask me why. And then again in 2015 when someone claimed to have seen it. So for the longest period of time, no one saw the Lizard Man. Which was really weird. But then again, no one had ever seen it before. It 
It was July 14th, 1988, in the early mornings, when a young man came out and found his car being attacked by a mysterious creature. He claimed that it was seven foot tall with green scaly skin, snake-like eyes that were red, and three finger-like appendages that had claws on the end, and a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth. He said that the creature was attacking his car and then ran off into the swamp there in Lee County. He called the police department. He filed a police report. And this was the first recorded appearance of a lizard man. A week later, a couple driving down a road near the same swamp claimed that when they had stopped for just a moment to look at the water, The lizard man had come out and taken a swipe at them, leaving gouge marks in the back of their car. They luckily got away without being injured, but did file a police report again. They claimed that the similar looking creature had come out of the swamp and attacked their vehicle. Its three razor sharp claws had dug into the side and ripped the metal on the back quarter panel. And then the lizard man wasn't heard from for a couple of weeks until a young man driving on Highway 15 claimed that the lizard man leapt from a tree onto his car. He immediately slammed on the brakes and this caused the lizard man to roll off and into the roadway in front of his headlights. The young man bailed from his car and ran a mile down the road to the nearest gas station to call the police and file a report. But when they got to the car, other than some minor damage, there was nothing there. Now, the sheriff of Lee County, of course, claimed that these were all probably bear sightings, but what bear has green skin and red snake-like eyes? None that I know about. Also, they have four claws, not three. Sightings of the Lizard Man continued well into September when a army lieutenant claimed to have shot and wounded the lizard man along Highway 15. He provided uh, scales and a blood sample that he claimed came from the creature. Of course, two weeks later, he recanted his story after he was charged with felony carrying, felony illegal carrying of a firearm and filing a false police report. So we don't know if he faked it or not. But After that, the lizard man disappeared. He wasn't seen again. Now, the mania around him stayed for another year. People with shirts, the local news station offered a million dollar reward for anyone that could provide proof of the lizard man. But nobody did. He was just not found. And eventually, word of the lizard man just kind of faded away into obscurity. That is until 2015, when again a young man claimed that his vehicle was attacked by a seven-foot-tall lizard-like creature with red eyes. That was the most recent and last sighting of the lizard man. But is it the last that we've seen of him? It's a good question. Could the lizard man not be a lizard at all? Remember the plaid eye? Glowing red eyes? Looks weird? Could it be? I don't know. I have never seen the lizard man. But I've heard so many stories about the lizard man and how he appeared in Lee County back in 1988 that I am intrigued. Was it all just a hoax made up by a young boy who didn't want to explain why his car was damaged? Was it just a angry bear that was uh, teaching motorists a lesson on the highways of Lee County? Or is there a cryptid that looks like a, that looks like a lizard and walks like a man? That's a good question. When it comes to cryptids and cryptozoology, we may never really know what's out there. 
as humans, we claim that we know so much about our planet, we're not even willing to admit that we haven't explored the entire surface of it, let alone what's under the water in the ocean. So is it possible that there is a creature that stands seven foot tall in height, has scales like a lizard, face like a snake, red snake-like eyes, teeth, and three large claws where its fingers should be? Yeah, it's possible. Bigfoot is possible. It's also possible that Bigfoot is just a large ape that somehow got loose in the Appalachian Mountains. But there are so many cryptids in America that people see. Jersey Devil gets reports all the time. Bigfoot gets reports all the time. Chupacabra gets reports all the time. Let's not even get started on skinwalkers and dogmen. These are all cryptids. Loch Ness Monster. They're all out there. People say they see them. But the Lizard Man was only seen in 1988 and in 2015. It wasn't seen anywhere in between that time. It's not like somebody popped up in 1997 and said, Oh my God, we saw the Lizard Man again. It was just for the summer of 1988. For three months, this creature was hounding Lee County. And then, just as quick as he showed up, the Lizard Man was gone. So, was he a hoax? I guess we're never really going to know. But if he's out there, I like to think he listens to my podcast and enjoys it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to say. The Lizard Man is a fan. That's going to be all for this week's story. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the Lizard Man. And if you're from Lee County, South Carolina, and you've seen the Lizard Man, uh, reach out to me and let me know. You know, you can find me on Twitter, JohnPhoenix79, or just look up Let Me Tell You a Story, or you can leave a message here on the podcast. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Carolina Storyteller if you'd like to support the podcast or some of my other works and get access to exclusive content created just for you guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed tonight. Have a nice week, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening.